Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Xanocoin. So over the past couple of weeks we've seen Xanocoin go up in price. That's obviously led a lot of people to do some research into it and kind of led some people to want to mine Xanocoin. So today I'm going to be showing you how to mine it with a GPU. I'm not going to get into what Xanocoin is because you've probably done some research yourself if it's led you to this video. But there are a bunch of videos out there that you can go and check out what it is. So as I said, you do need a GPU to mine this. I believe that you can mine it on an NVIDIA GPU, AMD and Intel. But for those on Mac, I do not believe you can mine it on that. So let's get into the guide. So first thing that we need to do is download a Xano wallet so we can get an address to actually mine our coins into. So to do this, you can go over to wallets here, but that's going to take you over to external second party wallets. But realistically, you do want a desktop version because that's the safest wallet to have right now. There is options for mobile and a Chrome extension if you want. But today we're going to be going through and using the desktop wallet. So there are three operating system options here if you want to download from here. Today we're going to go with the Windows. So we click there and it's going to start downloading at the top. Now, once that has downloaded, we can actually open it up. So it's not going to look like this straight away. You do have to go and create a wallet and also add the seed phrase so you can get your backup seeds for this. And then this will give us a wallet address. So to just get your wallet address and to start mining to it, all you have to do is click on receive here. It's going to load and then that is your wallet address. So you can copy this and use it in our miner later. So that's the first step done. If you need any help on setting up the wallet, please leave a comment as well. I'll try help you out. But it is pretty self-explanatory. And to set one up, it's very easy. You just create a password and it will open up the wallet for you. Next thing that we need to do to start mining Xano is actually have a mining program. So normally on Hashrate I know this will display all of the miners that we can use if we click here. So there's SRB. T-Rex Miner and Wild Rig Multi. If you are on AMD or on Intel, you can use Wild Rig. If you are on AMD, you can use SRB. And then the rest of them also port NVIDIA. I'll leave links to everything that I used in the description below so you can navigate around. But today we're going to be using SRB Miner. So once you're on the SRB Miner page, it should look like this if we go back one more step. It's normally going to look like this. All you have to do is come here and click on releases. This is going to bring us to the latest release. And then we can actually download from here. So whichever operating system you're on, Linux or Windows, today we're on Windows, so we're going with this one. And then once that file has downloaded, you're going to want to extract it. So it can actually be in a file format. So it's no longer a zip format. And you just double click into the file. And this is all your files to start mining Xano. So all of these are kind of irrelevant for mining Xano. If you've never seen a batch file before, then these are pretty much for other coins. But this is your main miner right here. This is the executable. And if we go down here, we can actually find the start mining Xano batch file. Now what we want to do is actually right click and click on edit here. So this is going to open up the batch file. It's normally going to be in a notepad format if we just make it a little bit smaller here. You can see this is a notepad format and right off the bat, we can just get rid of basically all of this. So we can just click delete and delete to move it up a line. And here we have our batch file to actually start mining. So the first thing that we can do, as you can see there is the wallet. So you'll go back to your wallet program. Just click these two dots here, go back into the file and paste over the text that says Xano wallet. So there we have our wallet and that's what the miner is going to read. And then the next step is actually to go and find a pool to actually mine Xano with. So on mining pool stats, there is a lot of hash rate on one pool called luckypool.io and the other ones don't really have that much hash rate. Today, we're obviously going to be using lucky pool, but I do suggest either moving over to the new pool to just share out the hash rate. But today we're going to be using lucky pool. As it says there, this pool has more than 50% of the pool hash rate. Please consider mining to other pools to help decentralization. When we click onto Lucky Pool, this is the dashboard that we're going to see. And if we click at the top here on how to mine, it's going to give us the information that we can mine with. 
So already in the batch file on SRB Miner, it's already set up to go to luckypool.io and then the port is 8866. As you can see here, the port numbers differ for the difficulty and that basically means like how powerful your graphics card is. For your newcomers into GPU mining, the difficulty is how much it can mine basically. So currently if you have an old graphics card or a low end one and you want to mine it for fun, you would use these port numbers. But if you have a high end graphics card, like maybe a 40 series graphics card, then you would use this port number. So quadruple eight, we copy that and then we paste it in here. And now you've set up the batch file, all you have to do is click close and save. To actually start the miner, all you have to do is double click this file that you've made here. So start mining Xano, you double click it and it will open up the miner. I'm gonna show you some footage here. As we can see, the miner is running. Normally, this is what you'll see. So if you have any errors, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try help you out. It's just gonna show you the shares, the hash rate, what kind of pool you're mining to, latency to the pool, if you have any rejected shares and stuff like that. So once you have been mining, you can also add overclocks in there as well. So if we go back to hash rate NO, as I said, linked in the description for all of these things I've clicked on. We can go over to benchmarks and we can click and find our GPU here. So whichever GPU you're using, you can click and then it will actually give you the overclock settings. So the core clock offset for the 4080 is 255 and the memory clock offset is 2000. Remember that's on Linux and it's 1000 on Windows. And then the power limit is set to 230 watts. So I believe that they have all GPU models on here that you can actually use to input your own overclocks as well. Whether you're using an external or internal, there are a lot of guides out there on how to overclock on SRV Miner or how to overclock on MSI Afterburner, which is an external product. And after you've got the desired hash rate that you see here, you can go and check your mining pool stats. On Lucky Pool, if you click at the top your stats, all you have to do is take your wallet address that we see here. So copy that and then we paste it into here. If you click lookup, it should show up with your miner. It doesn't show up with mine because I haven't actually submitted a share to the network yet on the miner. But it'll show you your earnings, your estimated hash rate and stuff like that. It will also show you when your payments are coming through as well. If you click on payments, you can actually track if you're getting paid out in this list, but it does also show it on your stats as well. Then when you do get paid, it's going to be in this balance here, and then you can choose to send it out to an exchange to sell it, or you can hold it in this wallet and sell it later on. As you can see over the last year, Xano has actually ticked up quite a lot in price. So previously a year ago, it was around 90 cents to around a dollar and now it's all the way up to $5 per coin. So hopefully you guys got set up and started mining. If you did, please let me know in the comments and if you're having any struggles with anything in this guide, then please let me know as well. Remember, if you want to navigate around, all the links are in the description for the pools, the Xano blockchain, the wallets, the benchmarks for the overclocks and the miner files from SRV Miner. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more mining content.